From no Division I offers in high school to NBA draft pick, Terrence Shannon Jr. As with anything, college basketball isn't for everyone. There's an argument to be made that a very small number of high school seniors are ready for the NBA. There's always an argument too as to how college can hurt a top prospect. But today, we're gonna focus on the rise of Terrence Shannon Jr. He is someone I've seen in person as recently as this past December, and then as early as his senior year of high school, heading into his prep year. For now, let's start in high school. Terrence Shannon Jr. is a 6'5 and a half wing from Chicago, Illinois. He really didn't start making noise on a local level, let alone national level, until his senior year at Lincoln Park on the north side of Chicago. That senior year saw him average 15 points per game, 7.5 rebounds per game, and 2.7 assists per game. Lincoln Park made it to the regional final, but fell short to Riverside Brookfield. After his senior year ended, he finally received his first Division I offer, Austin Peay State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. An early scouting reporter, Terrence Shannon Jr., said he's great in the open court on the break and finishing at the rim. However, he had a bit of a streaky jump shot. He did, and still does, possess the ability to shoot the ball from deep. That summer heading into his prep year at IMG was one to remember. He received over 15 Division I offers, including Wake Forest, Florida State, Illinois, UConn, and DePaul, to name a few. DePaul was significant because he committed to the Blue Demons for an entire week. That was from August 12th through the 19th. Texas Tech came into the picture afterwards where he ultimately ended up landing for college after his prep year. His prep year netted him as the number 84 recruit in the 2019 class, according to OM3. The number 90 recruit, according to 24-7. 94 recruit in the nation, according to ESPN. And most recruiting sites had him as the number three player in the state of Illinois, behind EJ Liddell, who went to Ohio State, and Malik Hall, who went to Michigan State. His freshman year at Texas Tech saw him land on the Big 12 All-Freshman team after averaging 9.8 points per game and 4.1 rebounds per game. Remember his jumper being streaky? Well, this is where it started to improve, as his freshman year in Lubbock saw him shoot 47% from the field. Now he remembered that DePaul offer and commitment as he dropped a season-high 24 points against the Blue Demons that same year. His sophomore year with the Red Raiders saw him land on the third-team All-Big 12. He was a Julius Irving Small Forward of the Year finalist, and then shot 45% from the field and 36% from three. His third and final year at Texas Tech saw him land on the Big 12 All-Tournament team. He averaged 10.4 points per game, 2.4 rebounds per game, and two assists per game. He shot 45.5% from the field and a career best 38.4% from behind the arc. The change in the coaching staff opened an opportunity for Shannon to transfer, and he finally ended up back home at the program that coveted him since he was going into his prep year at IMG, the University of Illinois. In Champaign, TJS, Terrence Jr. Shannon, excelled. He landed on the first team All Big Ten by the coaches, second team All Big Ten by the media. He was seventh in the Big Ten in scoring at 17.2 points per game and he also reached double digits in all but four games, including dropping 20 plus points 11 times. Safe to say it was a successful first year back home in Illinois for Terrence. He was fourth on the team in rebounding at 4.6 rebounds per game and second in assists with 2.8 assists per game. That was top 25 in the Big Ten as a whole. He was a Jerry West shooting guard of the year semifinalist. Now this is where Terrence Shannon Jr. really played himself into becoming a draft pick for the 2024 NBA Draft. His fifth and final year in Champaign was one for the record books. He averaged 23 points per game, 4 rebounds a game, 2.3 assists per game, 0.9 blocks per game, and a steal per game. He also shot a career high 47.5% from the field. Not bad for someone with a streaky jumper his senior year of high school. He shot 36.2% from three, and 80.1% from the line. He landed on the first team All Big Ten by the coaches, media, and AP alike. He was a second team All-American by 24-7 Sports and CBS Sports, while the AP had him as a third team All-American. Terrence Shannon Jr. finished up his high school career with no Division I offers. He technically got his first Division I offer that same night he played his final game. 
An article by the Lubbock Avalanche Journal chronicles how after he met with his team after the loss, two coaches from Austin P offered him his first Division I scholarship there in person. Now to go from that moment to now a potential first round draft pick, if not an almost guaranteed second, is a story in itself. He's measured at 6'5 and a half without shoes and a 37 and a half vertical with a 6'8 wingspan. He has the potential to be the first University of Illinois player drafted in the first round since Myers Leonard back in 2012. Leonard was the number 11 pick to the Trailblazers then. Ayo Dusumi was the most recent Illinois player drafted as he was a second round pick to the Bulls back in 2021. Through hard work and determination, Terrence Shannon Jr. has worked his way up to the spot he's in now. I also want to give a quick shout out to Aaron Ben Rose. He was somebody that followed along Terrence Shannon his senior year of high school. And with him, I was able to go back on his timeline and find a lot of great tweets. Also, of course, the GOAT in Michael O'Brien the local Chicago Sun-Times reporter there, so a shout out to them, Aaron Ben Rose and Michael O'Brien for the help on this video. Now we wait and see not if TJS will be drafted, but by who and when. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like, let us know what you think of the video in the comments, and subscribe to keep supporting us. And remember, live in the gym and get results.